Our goal is real-time generation of soft shadows from low-frequency lighting environments in dynamic scenes. We use order 4 spherical harmonics for representing lighting and visibility functions. Our method handles shadows cast from one object to another as well as self-shadowing on the moving characters. We can dynamically change the lighting and view. Character motions need not be known in advance. Turning shadows on and off highlights the effects our method achieves. A set of spheres can approximate an object's low frequency shadowing effect using relatively few primitives. Circular symmetry of a sphere blocker makes it easy to rotate in the spherical harmonic basis. Previous methods computed low frequency visibility as a product over all blockers. This approach is too complicated to implement on the GPU and too slow to be practical on the CPU. We represent blocker visibility in log space. The total log blocking vector can now be accumulated as a simple vector sum over all blockers on the GPU, achieving a speedup of 40 times in this example. We perform spherical harmonic exponentiation to transform blocker visibility from log space back to product space. The following sequences compare different methods for SH exponentiation. A degree 9 series with scaling and squaring provides a very precise approximation, but is slow to evaluate. An optimized two-term series gives a less precise approximation, but is also much cheaper. Note the artifacts in the foot shadows. The hybrid method extends the optimal linear method using scaling and squaring. It provides good accuracy at little cost and forms the workhorse method for the results demonstrated in this video. Simple enough to be mapped to the GPU, this approximation produces accurate soft shadows at real-time frame rates. By accumulating blockers in log space and using our fast exponential, our method can handle complicated scenes with many blockers. This clip visualizes the blocker approximation used for the receiver cluster highlighted in red. Brightness on the ground plane corresponds to the number of blocker spheres processed for that receiver cluster. We now demonstrate our method in a more complicated scene in which a wizard and a troll do battle. The scene contains about 65,000 vertices. Shadowing geometry is approximated by a total of 244 leaf node spheres. On average, 47 spheres are accumulated per receiver point to yield the log space visibility vector. Some vertices are shadowed by as many as 117 spheres. As the troll's club hits the ground, its soft shadow provides a clear cue of the club's shape and its distance to the ground. The demo also demonstrates local spherical light sources using a single lobe zonal harmonic model. The local light source hovers above the troll's head. Notice the influence on the troll's self shadow. We reprise a small section of the previous animation showing interactive lighting change. We can also show the sphere sets used to approximate blockers. Turn shadows on and off highlights how soft shadows increase realism. We now show another example of a prehistoric scene. The scene contains about 120,000 vertices. Shadowing geometry is approximated by a total of 500 leaf node spheres. An average of 42 sphere blockers are accumulated per vertex, up to a maximum of 160 blockers.